Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. He's always assuring us that we have his protection. So I'm sorry. So welcome again. I was mute. So welcome, friends, to Kardec Radio. Let us pray in this beautiful day in which we receive so many blessings from our Creator, from Master Jesus, and all the good spirits that work non-stop with us, daily helping us. Thanks, John. Hello, Slavic. Hello, everyone. So let us bring ourselves to this moment in time, closing our eyes, breathing in and out, feeling the presence of the doctors and nurses that daily join forces with us at 6 p.m., let us bring our water and ourselves here. Dear Mother, Father God, Master Jesus, Mother Mary, Mentors of Kardec Radio, thank you so much for bringing us together to pray, to help ourselves and help all of those that are connected to us directly and indirectly. May our loving energies joining force with these loving mentors can help and send love to everyone in the planet earth and to every being in this universe god has created so many of us on the planet and many brothers and sisters in other worlds. Let us vibrate love so that everyone can receive wherever they may be. And as we come together, we ask for the guidance and protection and for understanding as we read chapters, messages brought from the beyond to guide us in this life. May we be opening our hearts, our mind, our ears to hear so that we can transform who we are into a better being. As everything progress, we want to progress. And we feel so much joy of being able to go through this process with loving mentors and love teachers that is guiding us daily. So with the permission of our mentors, of Master Jesus, Mother Mary, we come here to pray for peace and nourish our soul. And so be it. So friends, today we are going to read from the Spirits Magazine. The Spirits Magazine is available to anyone if we just need to go and type the Spirits Magazine, and you will find this, the link, 
and all the PDFs for us to read what is inside for free. So there's many ways for us to be nourishing our souls. Not only a Kardec Radio 24-7, but we also have the magazine that we can be reading and help us even more. So let us read together this chapter from, from the magazine. Here you go. And this is coming from Euripides Barsanova, one of our mentors. Here's his picture. We have him, you can find him online. He helped us in so many ways, bringing so many teachings, so many things for us in the planet, just like Chico Xavier, but he was before Chico Xavier. So this is from Euripides Barsanova. And we want to read together because there's so much to help us. And this is called Brilliant Humility. How wise. Let us make bigger so we can read together. Okay. Mary, the servant of God. We have it here so we can read it together. Dear children, may God bless you and fill you with blessings and graces to sizzling elevate you in the scale of spiritual progress. This is all that we are looking for, right, friends? May Jesus be the lighthouse that voices lead in the dark night of vice that with the tentacle of monstrous octopus fill the earth. May you shine in the darkness in which your soul are immersed the light emanating from our great one, from the perpetual focus of endless purity. May the strings of your heart be moved by aligning and dedicated fingers that produce and vibrate the harmonies of the rhythms with which you must give thanks to your creator for the much he does to you at every moment. May God lead you to the great heaven of salvation shaking the sandals filled with the filthy of this world and the tender dust of misery that may afflict you. You will then feel compensated for the effort employed in such calamitous, calamitous journey. Then you know how to render thanks to the surviving Lord, to the one who so much contributes to, real, to re reaching dazzling heights. May God guide you, children, so that you do not stray from the straight path and that one day you may have the supreme goodness that I mentioned and which at the present cannot be appreciated by you. Always submit yourselves to the Father, to the Father's will, and you will see the happiness resulting from such submission. May brilliant and must effulgement humility, humility and sparkle in the midst of the night of the proud and kindled creator's splendor in the hearts of the brothers and sisters who appreciate it and seek in the similar ambition. Humility, brightness, the crown that grids the, the head of the just, the merciful. Set in, set in a precious diadem, I have humility today to crowd those who knew very well how to deserve you. Humility always 
inhabited the heart of the young individual who always knew how to appreciate it. Isn't humility in the land of grief where the partners softened the harshness of life? Many humility to, many, may humility be chosen by your heart, your beloved partner for all times. So be it, loving Father. May my request be granted to you and have convinced a firm faith that you will be. May God be with everyone. So, dear friends, this message is so touching because it's talking about humility. We can read and read and think again. It's very important for us to bring humility if you want to be in this state of peace. Because this is the only way that we can bring peace to the whole planet, to wherever we may be. This is how we can be together, no matter where we are, and planting these new seeds of hope, of peace, wherever we may be. Euripides was bringing this message to us, showing us that if we are able to connect with these vibrations of humility, if we are able to transform who we are, much more will be bring to this planet as a place of blessings, right? Because we receive, as we started, we receive blessings throughout the day. Since we were created, we are receiving these blessings. And this is what is helping us to progress spiritually. And this is important for us spiritists to realize the importance of construct this virtual in us. It is not second nature yet in our daily routine to be humble, to have this humility, and to be grateful for everything that we receive. We can see the chaos on the planet because there is so much greed. People really forget to make this connection with God, with our Creator, and then we lose ourselves in this illusion of the planet, right? And it's like Mary, the servant of God. Well, we have been called many times to be this servant, to be connected with God, with Master Jesus. We are being called daily in our community to be serving And this is a net of humility because when we are called to serve, to do something, we need to really humble ourselves and see what we need to be doing to help. So this is, if we really want to serve, this is an act of humility because we are putting ourselves available to help those that are in need. But sometimes we want to help others, we want to serve by doing the way we want. But we need to be more mindful nowadays and really see what we need to be doing. How can we help? There are many chores, there are many ways to serve and help, let us say, in our spiritual center. And we are, when we are called to help there, how are we helping? Do we want to change everything into our way? Or we humbly ask, observe how people are acting and doing so we can do the same. We need to meditate when we are serving if we are doing it on the right way. So let us meditate, go to the Spirit Magazine, 
download this beautiful, beautiful uh, message from Euripides Versanova. And it's from the book Euripides, The Median of Jesus. So he was very close to Jesus. And that's what we are working in this reincarnation, to be that close to Jesus. So we need to see what we need to be aligning ourselves to, to be able to be this close. Right now we are doing our baby steps by studying, by putting practice the gospel. As we study together, we start to transform and see how we can be different, right? Because then we have our north, we have our guidance. So friends, let us study again. And how beautiful they say, dear children, may God bless you and fill you with blessings and graces that seasonally elevate you in the scale of spiritual progress. So here it is. This is one message that is doing that to us. If we read daily, one little message will be elevating us in this scale of the spiritual progress. And this is what we want. So let us meditate in this brilliant humility. Let us meditate how we can be more humble and grateful for everything that we receive daily. Let us meditate, friends. And let us always connect with God, with the mentors, to guide us to go through life. So let us then now prepare ourselves to receive the blessings of the passes, bringing your water here. And by breathing in and out, let us close our eyes, feeling the presence of the doctors and nurses from the beyond. As we visualize rays of light showering upon us, we feel lighter and we feel that we are connecting with these higher vibrations. And we humbly allowed these healing energies permeate our spirit, our soul, our physical body. Visualizing this light traveling our whole body In the places that we have pain or are in greater need of care, this light brights even more, healing us. And now we visualize this blue lavender color light soothing us, making us feel cooler and calm so that the medicines that the doctors and nurses are providing to us can easily permeate ourselves and we feel the presence of Mother Mary and her team taking care of us we are marching forward in this pathway of progress and this beautiful team 
is guiding and helping us step by step to progress. Our chakras are being aligned and energy is being restored, allowing us to be whole again with this divine flow of love. And as we continue feeling the blessings, we now visualize our home being healed and everyone and everything is also receiving the same treatment. We visualize now a barrier of protection enveloping our homes to protect us of those that indirectly and sometimes by ignorance we connect and disturb our home. We visualize now being protected. And as we pray and receive blessings, we transform our way to think to protect us even more. And we visualize our neighborhood, our country, our planet, the universe being enveloped in this loving healing energy. And as we continue to receive the blessings and being connected with this loving energy, we now prepare ourselves to pray. Dear Mother, Father God, Master Jesus, loving mentors. Thank you so much for being together with us in this moment of prayer as we pray and receive blessings. If we may ask, we ask for peace, peace in the planet for each and every individual that are going through trial and expiations in their lives, may they receive the strength and the courage to go through and pass through those tests, strong and victorious, learning the lessons of the progress. We pray for all our brothers and sisters in greater need, especially those that doesn't have God in their lives. We pray so that they can still feel blessings, even not knowing where it's coming from. We know, God, you don't abandon anyone. So we send this loving vibration for those and that may one day they can be faithful to you and that they can make this connection at any time and moment, but mindfully. We pray, dear Father, for our brothers and sisters in need of help in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. We are here on the planet and we all need the help 
of one another. We ask for blessings and guidance for our community. May we can work together and conquer much more and help many in need. We pray, dear Father, for our family members, the ones close and far, the ones incarnated and disincarnated. May they all receive a soothing medicine and help in this moment that we pray. We pray for those in hospitals, those that are sick in their homes, everyone that is sick in you, physically, spiritually, mentally. We ask for your guidance and help and protection, dear Father. And so we pray for the planet, for each and every one in both realms of life, that they receive the strength, the courage, and all that they need to succeed in this reincarnation. And with your permission, dear loving mentors, Master Jesus, Mother Mary, we would like to close this therapeutic prayerful moments of today, and so be it. So friends, let us drink our water and meditate on the message, meditate how we can transform ourselves. And if there is any need, or any guidance that is necessary, please contact us and also connect to Kardec Radio. Tomorrow we are live and please be connected with the good spirits so they can help and express and help us to exceed the velocity of our progress in this reincarnation. So bye friends for now, let us be connected, be prayerful, connect with the gospel, with Master Jesus and our mentors. And until next time, dear friends, God willing. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to Kardak Radio where we are always nourishing our souls.